Hey guys, so today I am going to be talking about some Star Wars figures. Uh, May the 4th is coming up, so Hasbro decided it would be a good time to dump some Star Wars announcements on us today. So let's take some time and take a look at some of these awesome action figures that Hasbro announced today. All right, guys, so let's start off this uh, toy talk uh, with just what was announced. They announced a lot of Black Series, a Vintage Collection, uh, so the three and three quarters line, and some Funko Pops. For the Black Series, some of these are going to be standard releases, some are going to be exclusives, and most are actually going to be 40th uh, anniversary Empire Strikes Back action figures. And even through that, there are going to be exclusives for those releases. But before we get into the figures, let's talk about the Black Series uh, wearable props or accessories aspect, like the white prototype Boba Fett wearable electronic helmet. So it has a drop down and electronic display. Uh, it's all white, like he was designed originally in the prototype and the initial sketches. Um, this should be releasing later this year, and they already have the Black Series standard Boba Fett helmet, uh, which is available now through, uh, I think it started popping up at Walmart and GameStop, but uh, this retailed for about 100 and 120 bucks, so look for that uh, at most uh, online retailers. The first figures we'll be taking a look at is the Luke and Yoda 2-pack for Empire. Um, this is the Jedi training pack on Dagobah. So they're saying it's going to have the Jedi training dirty Luke uh, deco. And he's going to come with the four accessories. Um, it's going to be a blaster, a lightsaber. Um, I'm guessing the cane is one and that little backpack harness that uh, Luke is wearing where Yoda is on his back whispering sweet nothings into young Skywalker's ear to complete his Jedi training. Um, not sure if this is an exclusive, but one that is definitely an exclusive is the Black Series Darth Vader carbonized look. Um, this is going to be an Amazon exclusive. Uh, the listing was supposed to go up today for pre-order but there was a delay, uh, no word yet on when that listing will go up. But uh, other exclusives or announcements they had for the 40th anniversary is the Bounty Hunters pack, which is uh, going to be these guys. And the great thing about this is for their packaging, Kenner originally released Zuckus and Forlom with their names switched. So uh, they're going to be doing the same thing for the 40th anniversary release which is pretty great. Uh, I love the Bounty Hunters, um, so if you missed your chance, because I think, um, what was it, one of these guys, it might be Four Alum. He was it originally a Disney exclusive, Disney store exclusive, so if you missed them the first time, now is your chance to get them. Uh, and finally, this piece is the piece I am most excited for, and it is Han Solo and Carbonite from Empire Strikes Back. There's no moving pieces. There is a display stand that it comes with, so you could have it uh, posed or displayed standing up, or on its uh, on its uh, to on its back, kind of where so you could have it look as if it was floating and being transported. Um, this also is an Amazon exclusive. Uh, no word on the release date, but I am very excited for this. Uh, I think today of all the announcements, this is the thing I am most looking forward to. I, uh, I have the Hun in Carbonite in three and three quarters, uh, uh, scale, and now I will have one in six inch scale, and one day I will have one to go with my hot toys. But also amongst today's announcements is the Camino trooper figure uh, as they appear in the clone wars animated show um, i'm really digging this look i love the more matted paint deco that they put on this figure and the two blasters uh, really looking forward to this figure hopefully we get more clone wars figures throughout uh, this year especially since this is the final season but 
classic troopers are also coming. This is supposed to be an Imperial trooper as they appeared in the Mandalorian TV show. I was hoping when I saw the listing, I was hoping it was going to be the dirty, dirtied up version from the start of the series. But this looks like um, the trooper that comes cleaner at the end of the uh, season with Moff Gideon. Um, I'm guessing that this is a prelude to the army builder that will eventually be on Hasbro Pulse. But speaking of Moff Gideon, Funko Pops were amongst those announced uh, in the last few days, not necessarily today, but within this week. So they have Moff Gideon from The Mandalorian. It's going to be very heavy on The Mandalorian because they have also... Uh, various poses um, for the child. They have some exclusives at different retailers for the child. They have the child with a frog in his mouth. They have the child with a mug. And then they have the two-pack of the child and Mando walking with the, the, the desert backdrop uh, in a deluxe set. So there you go, guys. That is today's announcements. That is this week's Star Wars announcements leading up to May the 4th. We are probably going to be getting more on the actual day of May the 4th. Um, but what do you think? Like I said, my favorite announcement today was the Han and Carbonite. What is yours? Is there a figure or character you were hoping was going to get announced that wasn't? Let me know in the comments below because... As happy as I am to have a Mando or a, a Han in Carbonite figure, still hoping to see a Lobot in 6 inch scale. So there you go guys, thanks for watching and until the next video, I'll see you guys later.